Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Forecast Linear in Google Sheets, which is kind of a nifty little tool or function that will help you forecast kind of where trends are headed uh, into the future. And so I have some data here, just using some sales data, if you will, over 2024, and it just kind of shows some variance there. So what we're going to do, I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to insert a chart real quick. So that gives us a chart here and it just kind of shows us our monthly change or our change month over month here. And something we're going to do and while we have our chart editor here is we're going to want to go and we're going to click on our line here and we're going to look to insert a trend line. And what this is doing is showing us our, our trend here and we can see that it's going up into the right so we're, we're we're growing and our sales are are heading in the right direction so this is great so let's say okay well we want to see if this trend continues where will we be at the end of 2025 so then what we want to do is we're going to just go ahead and do equals forecast dot linear and then we'll hit tab there and it's going to ask us for our x so that's just going to be the, the next future date and we'll do a comma and then data Y, which for our chart here would be our, our sales numbers. So we'll just go and select our Y data here, we'll hit a comma, and then our X data is the dates on the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and do it up until December, and then close parentheses. And that's going to give us what our next month would be. Our next month. So what we can do now, now that we have our, our forecast for January 2025, we can just click and drag, and it's going to give us that time frame spread out. So let's say, well, we want to see all this data in a trend line and kind of see what that looks like. We'll click on our chart here, and then we want to go to setup, and then we'll select our date range. And currently, it's just going to M2, which is the end of 2024, but we want to go to, through Y. So what we can do, we can just override our, our M here. We can, you can just reselect there, just enter that. So you can override that date range, data range there, close our, our chart editor here, and then we can see our forecast here. So we, we saw our trend line, which is gonna align very closely with what we have in terms of, of our forward-looking projection. And it's gonna align pretty well with our forecast linear here. Because again, this isn't exact. If you have you know large data sets and, and whatnot, this is kind of an, a, a quick and easy way to go about doing it. But it can be a good, helpful tool if you're just trying to forecast, get a general idea what the future can hold, or if you're trying to hit certain thresholds. And that's a good way to go about it as well. You know, if you were interested in saying, hey, at what point in time are we going to hit seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in sales let's say you know maybe that was our goal obviously you can look here and see you know we're going to hit that between may and june of 2025 but let's say we have our sales target and we're going to do seven hundred fifty thousand. format it so it's money and then we'll just spread that across. And so now we have this target, we can kind of see visually, but let's say we want to include that in our chart. We can come back here, edit chart. It's going to pull up our edit chart as well. And we can select our date range. So again, we just have it through Y3. So currently it's pulling A1 through A3. So we're just going to reselect all this data here. We're going to hit OK. So now that we have that data selected, our, our date range, data range is correct. What we're going to want to do is we have one series, which is our monthly sales. We're going to have to do add series, which is our sales target. So that's that red line that came in here. And so now we can see, it's kind of hard to see. We'll close this out. Now we can see where our actual forecast sales are going to cross through that, that sales target, which is great and can be helpful. So. Um, something to to think about if you're going to try and go this route. It can be a very helpful tool, and I hope th hopefully this helps. Forecast Linear has helped me on a couple different projects, I'm trying to get some quick and, and uh, dirty data here. But let me know if you have any questions on this, and please remember to like and subscribe to the Excel Guy. Thanks. And have a great day.